Mount Laurel's Quinn Akeon didn't feel like he'd had a memorable day on the pitcher's mount Saturday. His team trailed 5-1 after a grand slam by Cherry Hill Nationals' Jimmy Hutchinson in the second inning, but Akeon made up for it at the plate with a two-run homer in the third. I was glad because it tied up the game and it like made me feel better after my pitching performance. Everybody was like happy and congratulating me because I was like in a slump and then I came back. A four-run third inning tied the game for Mount Laurel, which went on to win 13-10 and advanced to the winner's bracket semifinal at the Cal Ripken 12-year-old 50-70 state championship tournament. Mount Laurel saw a 10-5 lead shrink to 10-8 in the fifth, but a leadoff home run by Danny Sassaman and a two-run shot by Matt Malois helped secure the game in the sixth. I just got one right down the middle and I swung really hard, so I guess that worked. <laughs> what did you think when it came off the bat? That was gone. <laughs> Malois pitched the last four innings and earned the win. It was a struggle in the late going, but his perseverance paid off and will keep paying off for Mount Laurel. Fatigue with Matt, I mean, it's, it's, it's really hard to tell, right? I mean, uh, he, he plays the game really hard. Um, it's hard to tell if he's really getting fatigued. Uh, you know, I like the way he plays. He looks like he's getting tired, but he just, he just guts it out. He's a strong pitcher, right? Matt, Matt can eat up a lot of innings for us. And a, a pitcher like that, that can eat up a lot of innings, saves our other pitchers for future games. Mount Laurel's next game will come Sunday against the Marlton Reds, who rode the two-hit pitching of Christian Park to an 8-1 win over Northern Burlington. It was a rare complete game in the days of inning and pitch counts. You know, he came to me after about the third inning. He said, Coach, I, I want the game. I want to I want to finish the game. So um, anytime you have a kid like that that comes in and says, I want the ball, you know, you go to him. You give him the ball. Northern took a 1-0 lead on James Wilson's first inning home run, but Marlton countered with taters from Colin Kelleher and Jack Lenahan. It gives me confidence going on the mound, knowing that I have a team that, like, could keep coming back, even though they started with a big hit off us. just makes me feel better when we're up. Our more runs gives me more confidence. Park's performance was one that even his opponents could draw inspiration from. They bought their ace out and they pitched their ace the entire way. To me, that was a, a huge sign of respect that they were showing our team, uh, that they threw that kid that far in the game. Uh, he threw a heck of a game. They're a heck of a defensive uh, team. And, um, and you know, it was, it was a very solid performance by, by Marlton, top to bottom. From Mead Park at Lafferty Field in Cherry Hill, this is John Lewis.